what counts as national news in New Zealand? What is newsworthy? Let me give you an example here. So Ling, this is the Otago Times. Front page. Oh, there's a pot of orcas that flew, that, that flew, that swam into uh, Port Chalmers in Dunedin. That takes front and center. Second story on the front page of the newspaper is, oh no, the sun shines and the weather turns really nice right when the kids are about to go back to school. Second page here is a woman who had a Karen episode about a guy in an inflatable, he was in an inflatable boat and rammed her boat. So she took an oar and hit him twice. <laughs> that takes second. second page. Yeah. Still no coronavirus. This kid found dinosaur teeth while fossicking for fossils. Uh, but Australia um, will allow non-quarantine travel from New Zealand. Okay. It's awesome. lovely to read the news here. Lovely. Because it's a lovely day. It's finally feeling like summer here in Queenstown. Might as well not be in Queenstown and maybe head up to Wanaka. It's February 1st and it feels like my skin is burning. I'm gonna have a tan line by the time we get to the park. For the next couple of days, it's gonna be extremely hot. Just last week, Dunedin had record breaking heat, just under 40 degrees. Feel quite colder. Yeah. Because we're higher up in the mountains. I have a rhubarb slice. Thank you. While we wait, there's a lot of construction on this road. So what did you say, Ling? This is one of the highest highways in the world. I think so. Something like that. I guess uh, that goes without saying. When you see planes flying next to you, and if not eye level, flying lower than you, it makes perfect sense. Wanaka conveniently located just about an hour outside of Queenstown unless of course he gets stuck behind a camper van and as you saw there was a bit of construction they were resealing the road heaps of people out on the beach swimming it is so much nicer than Queenstown yeah I have to say the view if you had to compare Lake Wakatipu and the beach in Queenstown compared to Wanaka clearly Wanaka is the winner because it's a lot wider the view is, is much better how's the water? nice yeah Again, I think nicer than walking. But it's different. It's different. about you guys this is a big old he doesn't really like the water but it's so good for him. Whoa. 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 oh you are huge i think this is my first time ever seeing this dog an english man yeah i know that's so why we're trying to convince him it's a good thing to get in the water yeah, yeah. so we're enticing him with sticks is it because he's scared of the water or i don't think they're designed for water this oh, dog we saw him from stick. far we were just walking and then we just saw this right. big dog he's in the water <laughs> Bigger and bigger. Come on, look, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to go. Come on, oh, come on. You'll feel better. I think the only mastiffs I've seen were in the sandlot. Like firsthand, I've never actually encountered one. And that dog is just as big as the sandlot portrayed oh my God, mastiffs to be. We could get an English mastiff and a Maine Coon, like the biggest Maine Coon. Those are just, it's like a really big dog and a really big cat. A cat that feels like a dog, and a dog that's just, you know, it's the Sandlot dog. I legit have never the, seen a dog head that big. Yeah, his head was his huge. His head was bigger than both of our heads Massive combined. Massive head. James Earl Jones was Darth Vader, and then he was Mufasa. And before that, he was the owner of the Mastiff and Sandlot. I don't know why I brought up those two things. I just mentioned. Look, the dog is all the way out there. And he, you could still see his top, top bit. 
So toasted marshmallow and bye -bye. regular marshmallow. There she is, the lone solitary tree in the middle of Lake Wanaka with the, the Southern Alps in the background. Easily the most photographed tree in all of New Zealand and a very iconic um, image. You don't want a picture with it? No. This is the second time that we're seeing the Lake Wanaka tree. The last time we were here, it was the end of winter springtime so there wasn't any green on the, on the on the branches of the tree so it's a different experience uh, looks fuller but at the same time in the background the snow is melted off the the caps you know, the tops of the uh, the southern Alps it just shows a difference in season It is quarter to six, which means happy hour, yay! There's a bar that we hit up. I can't remember the name. I just remember where it was. Kai Fakapai! Kai Fakapai! Always busy. Really cool vibe. Really good service. So we're going to go there for some happy hour. Let's go! Thank you. Ooh, like Mark. Huh? It looks like Mark. Oh, yeah. Award-winning local beer on tap. I'll have the brewski. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, and I'll get the, the happy chills. So we know there's a good place in Wanaka that makes really good burgers. Probably the best burgers in all of Wanaka. And it's a place called Red Star. Red Star Burger here in Lake Wanaka. Okay, where do we go? Uh, Camping Air Clamp? Clamping. Oh, that's not camp. <laughs> I see it. The best burgers in New Zealand. Okay, yeah. Maybe, no, not New Zealand. In Wanaka. Oh, right Red Star. <laughs> Do you want aioli with your fries? Sure. Then you guys want to eat here or take it away? Eat here. Uh, eat here first. Eat here? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> and you guys like some water? Yeah. Would you like some water? Sure. Can you grab a bag with the order as well, please? Sweet. So, what do you want to do? Uh, Mark. Huh? Perfect. Okay, cheers, guys. We'll be about cool. 10 minutes off there. Awesome. Please pay right here for you as well. Thank you. I am so hungry. <laughs> this is gonna be a really good burger. Now, the crispiest fry in the bunch just got donated to the little birds. I'm happy to share. Nice hot chips. Good music. You come here often? No. Because I know you're here. Worst pickup line ever. <laughs> a pretty massive burger. Things cutting it in half. I kind of regret it. Maybe I won't. I won't continue. Just, to just cut bite it. into it. Yeah. So Ferg Burger takes the cake when it comes to the quality of the meat. That goes without saying. Red Star. As far as the sauce goes, and even how they dressed it, I kind of like how they use like matchstick carrots and um, so, you know and gherkins. That is our day trip here in Lake Wanaka. It was nice to get out of Queenstown just for the day. I think we've been spending a lot of time in Queenstown. Great day, 
good burgers, good booze, great day in Wanaka. But uh, we're gonna end the vlog there. Thanks guys for watching. Appreciate the views and I'll see you on the next one.